Okay, remember this guy? This is Cash Patel. Before the Trump era, Cash Patel was a congressional aide to Congressman Devin Nunes. Then, after playing loyal foot soldier in congressional Republicans' fight to kneecap the Mueller investigation, Cash Patel worked his way into President Trump's inner circle and was eventually appointed to a series of national security jobs that he had little to no qualifications for. After Trump left office, Cash Patel stayed in the Trump orbit and became Trump's point person for dealing with the National Archives, which is how Cash Patel found himself squarely in the middle of Trump's biggest scandal since leaving office, the former president's decision to take thousands of White House documents with him, including hundreds of highly classified documents, and take them down to his Florida beach club and then lie about it. It was Cash Patel who went out and told the right-wing news outlet Breitbart in May that Trump had done nothing wrong because Trump had already declassified all the documents at Mar-a-Lago. He told Breitbart, I was there with President Trump when he said, we are declassifying this information. So far, the Trump legal team has not actually made that claim in court. It is just a story that Cash Patel and Donald Trump like to tell from time to time, which is why, among other things, a lot of people would like to ask Cash Patel a lot of things under oath. And now, tonight, just before we got on the air, the Wall Street Journal broke the news that that guy, Cash Patel, will now testify in the Mar-a-Lago case in exchange for immunity. Cash Patel, a close associate of former President Donald Trump, is set to soon testify before a federal grand jury probing the handling of classified documents at Mar-a-Lago after receiving immunity for his information. That, according to people familiar with the matter. Mr. Patel appeared before the grand jury last month and refused to provide information by repeatedly invoking his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination, the Wall Street Journal reported. But that was then, and this is now. The journal reports the immunity grant leaves the government only able to charge Patel, if at all, using information obtained independently of his immunized testimony. So if Cash Patel incriminates himself in testifying about the Mar-a-Lago document scandal, he won't go to jail. If he does go to jail, it will be for other things. The Wall Street Journal also reports that other Trump associates involved in the Mar-a-Lago documents matter also have been offered some form of immunity, including one of Mr. Trump's lawyers, Christina Bob who declined, saying she didn't need it. We don't know exactly what the Justice Department wants to ask Cash Patel or why they went to such lengths to make him testify, but presumably prosecutors want Patel to admit under oath that Trump never actually gave an order to declassify those documents. Doing so would shut the door on one of Trump's main public defenses. Whether Patel's situation leads to other witnesses being immunized for their testimony, well, that remains to be seen. But one thing is for sure here, a Trump loyalist, a guy with a lot of inside information, he will now testify under oath in this very legally perilous case. And that cannot be welcome news for the former president.